Hey guys, Leanne here. We are on the streets of Sydney with Richard Green, also known as Dr. Green Thumb. With a silent B. Green Thumb. And the Milky Bar here. Yeah, yeah, because I'm old oh man's as black as Cadbury. If I go over the Arbor Bridge, they call me Cafe Latte because they're conservative. <laughs> In a guy, I'm in a gara, in a guy, I'm a yellow daruqua, but I'm a marigal wa, yen mala, yen mala. And I'm sort of overwhelmed because I've just run into my young cousin, nephew here. And um, the separation amongst our people in this country is quite devastating. And I'm pretty emotional seeing the young fella because I nursed him, you know, and it's taken me breath away. But that's what's happened with our families. And, you know, it's just a blessing to be standing here with you. What's your name? Leanne. Leanne, this is nice Leanne, people. <laughs> What you just said before, is that, did you just transcribe that? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I'll transcribe it. I thought you all understood it by now. <laughs> they call Bondi waves crashing on rocks. I don't know where they got that. It means beach, and it's Buwandi. So it'd be nice if you left our language alone. You didn't know what a Parramatta meant for 200 years. Why do you know what Bondi means all of a sudden? You know, but anyway, um, yeah, well, ja Jared, who you're aware of, yeah. uh, his great-great-great-grandmother is... Uh, his grandfather is Colby, and his great-great-great-auntie is Maria Locke, first Aboriginal woman married in the country. That gives him mortuary law. He's a sovereign boy. In fact, he's got more authority than a Supreme Court judge. But we're just waiting for you people to wake up to it. You know, because uh, when they put a ring on her finger in 1836, they created a dynasty. And we are the dynasty. So, you're a singer and actor. Yeah. You've been in Boxing Day, Blacktown. No, not Blacktown, Boxing Day, Two Out, Little Fish, Jew Boy Praise. Little Fish? Yeah, I'm yeah. the barman in Little Fish. Bunches. I'm about that big. <laughs> but anyway, I'm in it. Um, the First Australians, Garamundi Kids, SBS, Channel 9, 7 and 10. And um, yeah, been at it a long time, but you know, it takes a while for people to accept it all. But, yeah. I've disappeared in Snowtown as uh, Barry Lane, and I'm sure you will be anticipating that one. I've got legs for it anyway. What came for you first, I guess, singing or acting? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's all the same. We're, the arts, I think, we, I, I think we have to stop labelling artists in this country, especially in this country, and Cory artists, as just singers, actors, writers, or whatever, because I do the freaking lot. <laughs> Okay, I paint, draw, I tell jokes. I mean, they're, even if they're not funny, I still tell them. Richard Green does it all. <laughs> does it all, all right. Because uh, we have to skill ourselves up in that category because we don't get much work otherwise, you know? Yeah. So we do it all, from painting to drama to music. I'm doing a uh, master's diploma in music at Eora College at the moment for six months. And then um, I'm back to university to finish my BA. In Australian history and Aboriginal culture. And you, obviously you're incorporating your roots through your music? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Um, I'm trying to soften my lyrics because as a young man I was pretty angry as you could imagine. Yeah. Being caned every day in front of 300 white kids and told that your people don't even exist, you know, it gets pretty tiring and it creates for quite an angry young man. So it took a lot of my older people and Malia who I was just playing with and a lot of my elders our people from uh, Redfern and whatnot to help me calm down and put my feet on the right track because um, music did that for you. Sure you? did. It calmed me down and you know, and the rest is history. And what about hip hop as well? You see, like the Aboriginal culture has like gone through as well to do hip hop. Yeah, they do. Are you branching off into that? Oh, no, no, I'm not a hip hop. I'm a hip locker. Yes, I'm a hip folker. Hip folker. Yes, hip folker. Tell us about your get up, your colours, I love the block. Okay, I love the block obviously because it's our masala. We don't have another masala. It's international, it's recognised all over the world and our people have only just been discovered, all right, purely by the rest of the world. The Vatican's only just been made aware of it. Yet we live under a 400 year old law of vagrancy in our own country. Get it together, people. We're 3.8% of the population. There's not enough Aboriginal people in the entire country to fill every hotel in Sydney, but you call us drunks. The whole 27 million of you. We're not all drunks. All right? Some of us don't drink. I'm Irish Aboriginal. If I drink, I punch myself up. In fact, if I fall over, I bounce straight back up again. All right? And I think our culture's got a bit to express to the world, you know? 
Uh, that term warriors means rowing to war. We never invaded anyone. We're men of peace and consciousness, hunters and collectors. We wear gold. We don't wear gold, diamonds, pearls or jewellery. We wear the earth. All right, now colours, red for the blood that was shed, yellow for the sun which brings us life, and black for our skin. All right, we lose that because we've got a recessive gene, but we can still dance. All right? <laughs> Uh, we're interesting people, man. Okay, we taught the British to swim, mate. Okay? And then uh, the rest is history, people. They might want to whitewash it all the way they do, but it's quite a horrific history when you study it and you know it. All right, but we have to be bigger and stronger about it and move forward. Today, Christine Keneally, God bless her, and I hope she gets back in. But that's up to all you males in the country because you think we're that tough that we run the joint. Nah, women are the bosses, mate. All right, especially in our culture, everything's reversed. Women gave birth to us. Us men can't even lay bricks all day, let alone give birth to a baby. Come on, man. It's about time we start giving women respect, all right? For 2,000 years of Western civilization and philosophy, women and children have been at the end of us, okay? And that's the only reason they're not gonna vote Christina in, because she's a woman, okay? But I think she's got bigger balls than Farrell. Farrell? Now, the truth is she gave two million dollars to Redford today to rebuild the community. You know, so we're we're overwhelmed. You know, we just want to raise the, the place up so we can bring our children up, man, you know. I teach in schools and uh, our, our kids are not inept. They are quite highbrow and very far ahead of your own in some respects. You know, in fact all your children are using our slang, fair dinkum, sick good day. Wow. You know, and that's about the facts of it all, people. We want to get along with you just like everyone else, you know. Most of you we're related to, okay, and we love you, you know. There's a lot of right-wing press that gives us shit. And people like Andrew Bolt. Yes, I'm Corey, Andrew Bolt. I will tackle you at a desk anytime, sir, all right. You stop bagging our people because you're a redneck, mate, just like Pauline Hanson. <laughs> well said. Thank you, Richard. No worries. And we bless through fire, not water. Okay? That's why the, the sun gives life. Okay? And everything that dies is reborn. You know, start understanding our epistemology because our psychology is far beyond your comprehension. Richard Green on the public.